Good morning everyone, my name is Brandon and welcome back to another trip report. Today I'm here in Calgary, Alberta about to fly home on Air Canada Flight 207 to Vancouver. Before the traditional Canadian winter coldness freezes my body off, let's head inside of a much warmer Calgary International Airport. Check-in for me was a bit of a hassle. Despite there being many Air Canada agents on hand, I was very rudely told off by a customer service agent to use the kiosk to check in. With that ordeal over, it was time to head through security. It only took about 15 minutes to get through, which is not bad considering it was the rush hour for morning flights. I have always enjoyed flying through Calgary. I find the airport is the right size and it does not seem to be overcrowded like Vancouver or Toronto. It is extremely easy to navigate as well, which is a big plus if you are connecting. Here's my aircraft for this morning's flight. Charlie Golf Alpha Quebec X-Ray is a 21-year-old Airbus A319-114. Boarding began on time as expected. For today's flight, I was seated in 23F, a window seat on the right-hand side of the aircraft. A big plus for me is that these aircraft were configured long before airlines did not care about your comfort. So I am happy to report that there is plenty of legroom back here for my 6 foot 5 body. Today's flight will take roughly one hour at a planned altitude of 36,000 feet. Right on schedule, we pushed back and began our taxi. Because the aircraft sat overnight, we needed a quick spray at the de-ice pad. Unfortunately, this caused my window to be covered in water droplets, so I do apologize for the footage or lack thereof. For now, here is our departure off of Calgary's runway 35 left.
yourselves at all times. Smoking is prohibited on board, including the use of e cigarettes. On today's flight, we will offering for refreshment service, we are running spirits, as well as your phones can be purchased using your credit card. Wi Fi internet service is available on this aircraft. You will be able to connect to the internet by paying with your credit card once the seatbelt sign is turned off. Please note that the use of voice applications is not permitted in flight. As we climbed away from snowless Calgary, Alberta, the flight attendants began the service. Air Canada's in-flight service is never consistent, which annoys me to no avail. I've flown transcontinental many times before and no snacks are served, only drinks. Then somehow I can hop on a short flight to Kamloops and they magically have time to serve everyone drinks and snacks. That being said, today's flight there was the choice of drink and a snack of Biscoff cookies. I had my usual glass of Coke. As mentioned before, all of Air Canada's Airbus fleet is fitted with what can best be described as Windows XP with dial-up internet attempting to play an HD video. The Tails IFE system is hideous, slow, frustrating and in desperate need of a revamp. The only thing that I find to work is the map which I kept my screen on throughout the flight. There is a decent selection of movies and TV shows to watch, but that is if you can get to them without punching the screen out. As we approached Vancouver, it is easy to see why you should sit on the right side of the aircraft when flying westbound in the mornings. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the stunning mountain views as we descend and land on runway 26 right.
All in all, I enjoyed my flight this morning with Air Canada. The service was done professionally but lacking the smiles that WestJet offer. The Calgary to Vancouver route is one of the most frequently flown in the country with two departures every hour going in each direction, one with WestJet and one with Air Canada, and a mix of Flair and Air Transat in there. That's it for this trip report. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did filming it and yelling at the computer while editing. Until next time, safe travels.